Ryan Barnhart here, the voice of the Fighting Illini, and you're listening to the State Line Sports Hour with Dave Schmidt and Matt Nestor on News Talk 1440 WROK. Good morning, everybody. Dave Schmidt along with Matt Nestor and producer Tom Warner. We're going to get right into this. We're shifting over to high school football. I think it's less than three months away, basically, right? Yeah. And I know one guy that's probably getting ready, working out in the gym already, is uh, Rockford Lutheran's James Robinson. Hey, James, thanks for getting up so early today for us. You're welcome. Hey, let's talk about this year coming up. Has it been exciting already with uh, everybody looking forward to possibly what you might be doing this season? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm working hard. You know, when you look at uh, some of the things you've accomplished in your career, you know, you, there's a lot of records that are within your grasp. You know, is that something you think about, or are you more focused on, you know, what you can do as a team? Uh, I really don't pay attention to it. I just, um, work with my team, you don't pay attention to the records and stuff. You know, uh, what are some of the things you're doing right now to prepare for uh, the football season? You know, a lot of people think, well, you get ready a couple of weeks before the season starts, but I don't think that happens nowadays, does it? No, we, after school, we just go up in the weight room and lift and do, um, like, football stuff. You know, has your, has your recruiting gotten very intense yet, or is that a lot of that pick up over the summer? Yeah, it's pretty intense right now. Yeah. Is, it, is anybody giving you any advice, James, on uh, the things to look for and what to do? And are you looking for some stuff, too, to kind of figure out what you want to do in the future? Um, not really, not right now. You know, when you look at different schools, what, what's going to be one of the most important things for you when, when you come to making your decision on, on where you want to continue your career at? Um, I look at how the coaches treat their players and, like, how they work in practice when I go visit them in their environment around them. Well, you know, when you talk about uh, Rockford Lutheran, you guys have had a real good run here lately. Uh, how has Coach Bazali helped you as a football player get ready for your career and, and made you a better football player? Uh, he's helped a lot. I think he's a really good coach. And he keeps us pretty late after practicing and stuff. And I think that's why we're so good. You know, the last couple of years, you guys have been, you know, really good, obviously. And you guys have been involved in some blowouts and things like that. How hard is it to to maybe kind of keep your rhythm going from game to game when, you know, you're getting pulled out at halftime in a lot of games? Um, well, when we get pulled out, it gets pretty boring after we get, like, early, like, stuff. And, like, we have to just keep turning on the team that comes in after us. You know, last year you played a little bit of defense and you ran back kicks and punts and things like that. Will you be doing that this year, too, or will you be just concentrating on uh, running the football? Uh, I think I'm going to be doing that, too, because we, we, we are losing a uh, couple of players that play that position. You know, how are you guys looking for this year coming up, you know, with some of the players you got coming back? And, you know, obviously it was, a, it was a really good year last year for you guys. Is it something you, you guys think you can maybe go out and replicate? Um, I think we're going to be good. We have some players stepping up, and we got people that gotten bigger since last year. When you look at uh, the uh, Big Northern Conference and the state playoffs and stuff, would it mean more to you to win a state title or to break that rushing record, do you think, this year? I think it means more to me to win the state title because we're really close for the past few years. You know, when you look at your recruiting, you know, have you gotten to the point where maybe there's there's a couple of schools that are starting to stand out, or, or are you still pretty early in that process? I'm still pretty early. Yeah. Is there anybody in particular that, uh, that you know, you, you've talked to so far, or maybe you're looking forward to maybe talking to over the course of the summer? Um, not really. Yeah. Right now. When we uh, look at the high school football season, you guys uh, play on the uh, grass field over at um, Lutheran. But uh, do you like playing on the turf field a little bit? I think that would really help you out a lot because uh, you've got that breakaway speed. And sometimes that uh, that field at uh, Lutheran can be a little rough, especially after some weather during the season. <laughs> I like playing on the turf a lot, but it doesn't really matter to me, really. Do you think they'll be passing a little bit more to you, James, than they have in the past to kind of open you up a little bit? I was watching some of your highlights on Huddle, and it looks like they were trying to just to dump the ball out to you to get you away from the middle of the field. Um, 
I have, I don't plan on them like they're involved in me a lot more because they're procedures that can get open. I just put the stay on and block and help the quarterback. You know what? Do you, what is it that you see when you when you get the ball as a handoff? There's so many times that maybe doesn't necessarily look like you've got a lane or it might not be a big run, and then all of a sudden you break it off for for 50 yards. You know what is it that you're looking at? What do you see when you get that ball in your hands? Yes, um, I look to see if they're like holes, and then um, I look at like how the linebackers are like kind of approach me. And then I just make them read before they get pretty close to me. You know, I was watching also, you like to run people over once in a while, too. You don't necessarily avoid contact. You kind of enjoy that part, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you tell us what Can you tell us what your biggest run has been, the one that you will remember for a long time, one run that you thought, wow, this is something I'll remember for a long time? I was saying it was my sophomore year against them in Valley when um, I, I had to come out of the game because I had caught a cramp and it, like, wouldn't go away. And then I came back in the fourth quarter, and it was the fourth down, and we had to get a first down. And I broke two tackles, and um, I just got one yard over the um, first down, and then we just needed it out from there. You know, uh, when we've been talking about you, I know I know Dave's like to compare you to Tony Dorsett, and that's a name I, I certainly remember. You know, I, I got to watch him growing up. Uh, I might be a little bit too old for you, but is there any running backs that you kind of you know try to style your game after that you really like to watch and try to pick things up on? Mm-hmm. I'll probably say like Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, he had a pretty good year, didn't he, this year? Yeah. Yeah. When you look at it, is there any uh, guys that you played with over the years over at Rockford, Lutheran, James, that uh, kind of have really been helpful to you on as a teammate, somebody that you look up to during that run? Um, All of them, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, the seniors. I like cause the seniors last year like really good at leading the team and stuff. How about Kendall Lawson? You get along with him? He's a talker, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how much yeah. fun was it to uh, get out there and play basketball, too? You know, you're not just a good football player, but, you know, you've been on some really good basketball teams and really contributed on there. How much fun is that to maybe kind of be able to do that when you're, you know, not in the football season? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, basketball team is pretty fun to be around. And it's fun to... Um, so good to go down to Peoria two years in a row. Has there has there been many people that have been brave enough to try to take a charge from you? Um, yeah, people try to do that a lot. <laughs> well, they're not very smart, James, because I've seen you, <laughs> and I wouldn't want to get run over by you. You have really balked up this year, haven't you? Aren't you uh, getting football ready? I mean, uh, when you were a, s- a freshman and a sophomore, you know, you you're just a kid yet, but now you look like you're pretty balked up. Yeah, I've gotten bigger. Could have um, been lifting a lot after um, school now. What is some of your? Can you tell us what, what you've been lifting lately? What? How much? What's your kind of your record? Your personal record? Um, my well, I, my hand clean is two eighty five, and my squat is like four or five. My bench is two seventy five. And wow, that's pretty much what I've been doing right now. Yeah, do you enjoy weightlifting? I think some football players really enjoy that part of the game. Or uh, do, you, do you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, do you enjoy it after a game? Don't you usually lift after a game? I think that's got to be the toughest time. Um, after the game, do you come back on the Saturday? Mm-hmm. Just like run around on track to like get loosened up and not be like sore over the weekend well james thanks so much for getting up on this holiday weekend we'll be keeping an eye on you best of luck and hopefully lutheran can win that state title this year and uh, you have a good weekend okay hey, thank you you too we've been talking to james robinson the that running is- uh He's got all kinds of records. Yeah, I mean, there, there's all sorts of things when you look at it. You know, I mean, first off, you look at the 
the most rushing touchdowns in a game. You know, he's, the most he's ever had is seven. The record is ten. But that's because they took about at halftime. Well, that's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, those those two games that he got seven, they had him out at halftime. So and, and there's been rumblings, and we'll see what happens, but. Been rumblings that they might push him a little bit more in games this year, you know, especially with the the rushing record around the corner, uh, you know. So if if they are pushing him like that, you know, that's a record that's certainly in reach because he just he, he every time he touches the ball, it's a potential for a touchdown. Yeah, James has six thousand five hundred eighty four yards total rushing, so he needs eighteen hundred and ninety three to tie uh, Cable. Uh, Caleb uh, Pratt out of Westville, who did it between 2004 and 2007. Which, which would only be five more yards than his freshman season that he had. Yeah. So, so yeah. That's, that's pretty well in reach. Pratt has 8,477 total yards rushing. Yeah. Also, uh, most uh, touchdowns rushing in a season. He's tied on fifth for the list. He had uh, 43 in 2013. And again, if, if they're pushing him... You know, a little oh, bit he could deeper have had into games. Well, that's what I'm saying. If they're pushing him deeper into games, the 51, which is the record, is is in within reach. Yeah, and he had 38 in 2014, so he had a couple well, of good years. And then he? you look at the most rushing touchdowns for a career. He's yeah, got, he's got 114. He's one behind Caleb Pratt, who's at 115 for the record. Yeah. Uh, so there, there's a good chance he's going to break that about three or four minutes into the season. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just don't, you know, you want them to be rushing ones. So they don't count the passing. Right, right. And they don't count the kickoff returns and all those type of things. And, right. But, he, he uh, really, I mean, to, to say he's the best player in this area, I mean, there, there's been so many great players. You don't want to necessarily, you know, put that kind of pressure. But, you know, you just look at, at running backs. And, and he's, he's got to be one of the best running backs you've ever seen. And, you know, some people... Uh, you know, that maybe haven't seen him play, like to discount him because, oh, well, he plays at Lutheran. He's not playing in the Nick 10. But I tell you what, go go watch him play. That kid could play anywhere. You could put him in the suburbs. He'd put it, put up these kind of stats. You know, he's putting them up at Lutheran. You could do it in the Nick 10. Uh, you know, because let's be honest, uh, you know, the, the way things are going right now, you know, he'd either be, if he was in the Nick 10, it'd probably be at either Boylan, uh, you know, because they, they have the tradition for for that kind of stuff and no telling what he'd be doing there. You know, or with the way the program's been going, there's a good chance he could be at Auburn. Uh, you know, and and if he was there with Coach Apino and all the good things that they've been doing right now, what would he be doing there? I mean, yeah, you, you know, so he's just he's just a great player, one one of the better ones to ever play in this area, and uh, it'd be fun to fun to watch him this season, fun to see where where he chooses for college and and what he does on Saturdays. If you look on any of the recruiting sites, he's at about four different heights. Yeah. So we don't know exactly how tall he is. I've seen six foot, I've seen 5'10", I've seen 5'11". Yeah, I think I've seen a 6'1 somewhere too, so... Yeah, that was his mom. I I, I think his mom predicted that. I think he's probably somewhere in the middle, I'm guessing, of the 5'10 and the 6'1". But like Matt said, we both will say that we had never saw... um, uh, Robinson play, and we both went to a game. We come back from the game and go, well, he is the real deal. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he, he convinces you it's, that he can play football. <laughs> yeah, I, I've enjoyed watching him the last couple of years. Uh, you know, I didn't get a chance to see him as a freshman, but you kept hearing about him. Yeah. So as a sophomore, I watched him, and oh, wow, he was amazing. Then last year, he's even better. Uh, I've been telling everybody for a couple of years now, it's worth the price of admission. Yep. Uh, you know, whether he's, uh, you know, out of town playing some, if he's out of town playing somewhere, go he, see him. He can't get to Lutheran. It's worth the trip to go see him. Get to Lutheran if you can. Follow him in the playoffs. Uh, you know, if you, if you have to watch him on, you know, online, you know, because I know they put a lot of games oh, online. Go you know. to Huddle. And yeah. Put James Robinson. It, you, you can you watch know, him. Yeah, if you have to watch it there, it's it's worth you know whatever you have to pay to watch the kid. He could run past you. Run he can run you. over you. <laughs> I saw. I was watching a couple of them. He just runs them right over. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're not little guys either. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> and I wonder sometimes too. You know, and, and especially when he says Marshawn Lynch is a player he likes to yeah. watch. You know, sometimes I wonder if he, like, you know, I could run past this guy. I'm just. I'm going to go run him over just because I can. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to have to make another jog because he makes great cuts. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I've seen a couple of guys go. Oh, yeah. Whoa, baby. Uh-huh. You know, and and they're kind of embarrassed after right, that. But right. I, I wouldn't be embarrassed because he's one of the better ones. Right. So. Yeah. Again, I remember. I, boy, I don't remember who they were playing. It was. It was a weaker opponent, but I think this might have been his sophomore year. They they hand the ball to him, and the line just missed everybody on that play. The, the line blocked nobody. So you figure it's probably going to be a loss or he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It ended up being a 50-yard touchdown. Yeah. Though. And they swing you know. pass out to him a lot now, too. So you got to yep. be you got to be fast and quick. Oh, yeah. And big guys can't chase him down. Yep, so exactly. he cuts down. And yep. Bruce Bazzali, the right coach for him at the right yep. time. Yeah, so. I agree.